did you did you actually record just me this time or I, did you stop recording it yes I mean? yes i've <laughs> i've made Before. it a point i've learned my lesson you've learned your lesson good you know what sucks like what? on like thursday or friday night i was laying in bed trying to sleep and i thought i was like oh i could do i could do that song for the intro i don't remember what song it was though and I literally like ad libbed it in like two minutes and it was great, but I don't remember what song it was, so I can't do it. <laughs> well, so basically, that's okay. um, I'm not very dependable anymore at making the intros. Um, hey, oh, everyone, welcome back to Lagged Out. Uh, hashtag not sponsored by Nabisco, but again, Nabisco. Hashtag not sponsored Nabisco. by Bang. <laughs> not really, dude. I'm trying to get sponsored by Bang. I don't even know what Bang is. It's a. It's technically a sort of a healthy energy drink. Sort like, of it does, a healthy energy drink. Well, like <laughs> no, well, because nothing's healthy in the world. Like everything has something that's bad for you. So uh-huh. that's why I said sort of. Basically, it has no sugar, no calories. Um, it has like super creatine, which is good for you because it basically like it helps you work out and puts like water in your bloodstream. So it basically helps you breathe better. Um, it's got things for your brain that help your brain out, but the only thing that it has in it obviously is like an artificial sweetener because it has no sugar. So it's got sucralose, which technically, you know, all artificial sweeteners aren't really good for you. That's why I said sort of, but it's not, it doesn't have all that crazy stuff that like monster has in it and stuff. It's like the equivalent of two cups of coffee. Mm -hmm. So that's why I said, but it, dude, it, it's pretty amazing. And I want to get sponsored by bang. So bang, if you're listening to this, I'm going to tweet out at you. Hashtag but, sponsor. But I will, Nabisco first. <laughs> either one. But I'd rather not Nabisco. get fat first. We'll just, I'd rather I'll, eat Oreos I'll when I'm like 70 Oreos. and you I'm going to die. You need to eat then. the Oreos. I'll eat them all. Don't worry. Yeah, that's true. Speaking of Oreos, fat. remember like two weeks ago when I was like, man, I don't have any Oreos and stuff. And after this podcast, we're going to go get Oreos. Yeah. Well, I did. And I was just going to get like just a pack of like double stuffed or whatever. But then I'm like, oh, wait, they have, like, the family pack. Because that's, like, you know, it's only, like, a dollar more and you get more value for it or something like that. But then I put that in the basket and I'm like, wait a minute, what's this in the corner of my eye? I saw the party-sized pack. I'm like, okay, Gosh. let's go. I think it was, like, maybe, like, 50 cents more or something. So I put the family one back, got two party packs. <laughs> so I'm set for, God. like, two weeks. What happened? Like, you weren't eating Oreos for a long time, I feel like, and then – you just started eating them a lot. Yeah, again. it's because I was trying to be healthy. <laughs> so now you don't care? Uh, yeah, because like, okay, so like this year, one of my resolutions uh, is to get a six pack. And that was going to start in like January. And at work, we, me and my coworkers, made like a, a sort of bet slash like competition thing it's to see like who could have like the best six pack by the end of February. So like beginning of January to end of February. We were going to see who could have the best six pack. No one did it, um, but because I'm like the fittest one at work, I win by default. Um, <laughs> so, God. so for like that whole period, and then like March, uh, like half of March, I would say, um, I like kind of went away from sweets and stuff like Oreos and all that. Like, I would like get like a candy bar every now and then at work, um, but other than that, like. No yoo-hoos, no Oreos or nothing. But now, like, it doesn't matter. So, like, Nabisco hit me up. <laughs> God. That's funny. But I am well, going to get a six-pack at some point this year. I don't know when. Yeah, you might want to start, dude, because it's halfway through April. I know. And, we're, uh, we're already a third third way through the year. Like, what the fuck? I know. So, you don't have much time left. So, it's, it's you might want to start. You got to start. You got to stop eating those those you who's dude like 97 grams of sugar in it. <laughs> i actually don't drink you who's very often i see them all the time in the fridge though maybe that's why they're just in the fridge yeah like because i'll drink one maybe like every two or three weeks <laughs> jeez so that's 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 kind of bad but I it's like great because they, they like, don't they that last, tells yeah, you something that, that it's not <laughs> real milk it's not real milk well, like th- there's no milk at all i know it's gosh i can't even that's Ugh. I mean, does right. water expire? <laughs> well, that is our intro, guys. Welcome <laughs> to the 27th episode of is Lagged Out. I thought it was yeah. 28. No, I think it's 27. I think it's 28. We're going to look. Uh, Go to YouTube right now. And we're going to look and find out. And which one of us is going to be embarrassed 
You guessed it. It's me. Yeah, it is 27. <laughs> it's 27. <laughs> Gosh. And you edited yeah. the last one, so. Okay. Shh. Okay. You know what? When I edited the last one, um, I got the numbers mixed up. So I was like, oh, yeah, this is like number 27 or whatever. Last time, last one was 26, by the way. Um, so my file names were off by one. So when I – and I realized that. and I'm like, oh, I need to change these. So I changed them. Like I subtracted one from them, right? And mm-hmm. when I did that and I was trying to sync up like the audio, I'm like, why does this audio from Adam – in mine sound different from the one he gave me and it's because i i renamed the wrong file the wrong one so like it's, Gosh. instead of renaming 27 to 26 as it should have been i renamed it to 25 or something like wow. that and then i renamed well, the other one to whatever and used that one instead well don't let joe edit your videos guys hey i i make uh, i make great videos i fixed it too by the way so Okay. 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 Whoops. I just hit the mic with my headset. So professional. Um, so first thing I was going to talk to you about is you beat Sekiro. So you can I beat tell the twice, audience about that. Technically. Yeah. I got the bad ending, um, which I blame on Google because there's a point in the game. It's, I guess like the technically it's the halfway point or it's the ending. If you choose the bad ending, um, where you have to make a choice, you either obey the shinobi code or you break the shinobi code and depending on what you do you either get one of three good endings or you get the bad ending um and i didn't know what to decide so i mean like deep down i knew what to choose but like i also know that like not everything is as it seems in like from software games so i'm like i'm just gonna let google decide for me so i flipped the coin i was like heads uh i um break the code tails i uh, obey the code. I got tails twice. So I'm like, okay, I guess I'm obeying the code. Um, and then I got the bad ending. Uh, <laughs> so if you want the bad ending, spoilers, uh, obey the code. Um, so I did that. But what I also did was before I chose that, cause like I backed out of like the dialogue. Um, <clears throat> I went into st- like my steam files copied the the save file for Sekiro, pasted it into like a different folder, like a backup, and then just played through the bad ending. And then once I finished it, which was really cool, by the way, it was two really cool fights. Um, I closed Sekiro, swapped the files, and then reloaded the game before that choice was made. So then I could do uh, the good ending. <laughs> Wait, so... Can you not just do that in the game in general? No, not because, just... no, because pretty much like everything you do is auto saved. Um, so uh... it's so it's like every enemy you like attack or whatever, every new area, every time like you rest, it auto saves. Um, so you can't just like oh let me reload the save, which sucks like for like speedrunners because it's like if you want to like farm a boss or like practice it, I mean, um, you literally have to like have a save file before that boss, and then. Um, practice it but you can't beat it because then if you do um, you'll have to like redo the whole save file or something interesting I mean I guess you could also just do what I did and make like a backup file but then you have to close the whole game and stuff so if you just die it'd be faster <laughs> but yeah interesting. So, so I did that it was it was really fun I let me look and see how many hours I put into the game because <laughs> I put a lot of hours into the game surprisingly uh, 61 hours. Um, so that was Look, definitely that's pretty, that was, I feel like that's pretty standard for that, that type of game. That was definitely worth the 60 bucks. Um, I also have a dollar a buck, dude. I also have or a dollar an hour. Yeah. And then I got a free hour. Um, <laughs> I also have <laughs> oh 25 gosh. out of 34 achievements. So that's pretty cool. Um, nice. But yeah. So like I beat the game twice. Technically I got like the, the true ending. Um, when I chose to do a good ending because mm-hmm. go big or go home, um, which is really interesting. It, and it leaves it open to like a sequel sort of, but I'm not sure where they would go with like the story. Not that necessarily like the story is the most important part. Cause it's kind of like a loose story. Um, and things just kind of happen. And you're just kind of like, okay, this is happening now. <laughs> like, yeah, like spoilers for the final boss of the good endings. Um, so you beat this guy, uh, that you fight as the tutorial boss 
uh, Genichiro. And he his fight super easy, but he's not the final boss. When you beat him, he slits his throat, and out of the cut is like a full human arm, and then like a whole man pretty much crawls out of his body through that cut, and it's just like what? <laughs> it's literally just like, huh? And what's funny is it's Genichiro's grandfather, but he's been aged back like twenty years. And it's just like, how? That's <laughs> so, so you, weird. So you just kind of like accept things that happen. So I'll be curious to see like what they do with the sequel, if they make one. I'm sure they will. The game sold like 5 million copies in a month. So that's pretty freaking good. Yeah, it's like a Souls game. So I feel like it's always going to sell. Yeah. I, I honestly, I'm, I mean, with what little experience I have with Dark Souls, um, <laughs> I, enjoy, I enjoyed it more. Because it wasn't just like, okay, let me dodge to like stay alive. You can like block and parry and stuff. And that was really fun. Once I finally learned and like it just clicked in my head like, oh, I don't have to just like run around, keep my distance and then like go in for like two hits and then back up with every boss. You can literally, it's actually better to be in a boss's face and like deflect their blows. Yeah, I mean, that's, you can block in souls like, and you can parry. Um, Yeah. Um, but it's very similar. I mean, it's kind of how monster hunter is. Basically there's like this term that I'm trying to think of the name of it right now, but Schnee told me about it, but basically in a lot of souls games, you want to basically stack on the boss. Yeah. And that's kind of what you want to do in monster hunter on some things. Cause like they can't, cause they all have like hit boxes, you know? So yeah. like basically is they can't, a lot of them can't hit you when you're doing that. And that's like, it sounds very counterintuitive, and I think that's why people struggle. Um, but I still get stressed out playing Dark Souls. But, you know, so that's neither mm-hmm. here nor there. But, yeah. yeah. So, like, I unlocked uh, New Game Plus. Um, I mm. don't know if I'll play it. Just because, like, you start the whole story over, but you get to carry over, like, everything pretty much. Except for, like, the key items you need for the story. Um, so, like, all the, like, the attack buffs that you get all your like xp and like gadgets and stuff you get to keep and all that stuff um it's like it would be kind of cool to like go back to some like those earlier fights and just see how well i would do now that like i know how to like parry and deflect and stuff um but i don't know if i will (laughs) because like yeah it's it's also technically harder because it's new game plus and there's seven levels of New Game Plus, so it's like you have to beat it like seven times, I guess, to truly beat the game technically. Mm, um, okay. But, yeah. Well, that's cool. So I uh, so I finally reached like max gear score in Division. I won't talk much about that, um, but basically the raid comes out this week, so we're going to see how that is. Um, but I've made like a couple builds that aren't all finished, but I'm still like tweaking it. Um, There's still some things that they're trying to fix in the game, um, hopefully before the raid comes out, I think. Um, But basically, uh, it's pretty fun grinding. I I like it a lot. Um, I think they need to fix the recalibration a lot, which is basically infusion, like I told you before. Um, Because basically, Mm -hmm. if you have an item... So basically right now, the problem is the gear score isn't isn't correlating the item stats if that makes sense so basically if you have a five so 500 is that technically the soft cap you can go to 515 i think with like mods but basically if you have an item that drops as 500 you know you've played division one but basically there's like a tribute right there's like health attributes like yeah yeah, you know damage attributes skill attributes and then they have talents or perks right and sometimes they drop without talents but more attributes blah, blah 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 but the problem is right now that they're trying to look into and fixing is the gear score. If you get a 500 gear score drop, you might get 4.5 critical hit chance on that. Mm-hmm. And you know, like a thousand or, or 10,000 armor for, or whatever as two attributes. But the problem is you get gear score that are dropping at like 475 that get you like 15 percent critical. Yeah. And like, so it's, it's weird because like people are basically saying like, there's this dude who's been running like a 450 mask because the mask has like 50% damage to elites. Right. And so basically like they're trying to revamp that to where like, I think they fixed that in division one. So I think they're trying to fix that now, but overall it's been a, 
It's been a really good game, um, but they just need to fix a few things. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. But a game that I actually wanted to, that I had like an urge to play, and I kind of want to play through the series is Borderlands because I have Borderlands 2 mm-hmm. on PC. And I think I bought it a long time ago on Steam and I have it in my library. But like, I kind of want to play through the series because I know the third one I think comes out like at some point this year. But I never really got to play it a lot, and I'm kind of curious to see if I would like it because I know it's technically a looter shooter, but it's not like an MMO. But it's the more new of one, like a co-op looter shooter, like you can play it by yourself, but it's definitely a game built to be played with like friends and stuff. Right. So the third one apparently has one billion guns. They said, mm-hmm. yep, in it, which is insane. Yep. That's what the that's what the creator said recently. I think it was last week. But I was like, hmm, I kind of want to just, like, play through and, and for the story and stuff, too. Because, like, it seems it seemed kind of interesting. But I don't I don't know. If I played through it, would you play through it with me or no? Probably not. Okay. Because I don't know if you have it. Do you? <laughs> no, I don't. I've never owned Borderlands. I played through the first one mostly uh, with Sean when it came out on, like, Xbox 360 way back in the day. And that it was a lot of fun. Um, the story was kind of, like... I mean, like the the actual plot I don't think matters too much. It's more like the journey, um, and just like the comedy and stuff. Because like the ending was like, really, <laughs> that just happened. Um, so like basically like for like I guess spoilers um, for a super old game. Um, the plot for the first one is like your vault hunters or something like that, and you're looking for like this one vault, and it only opens like once every like thousand years or something like that. Um, right. And you know it's going to be opening like soon or whatever. And at the end of the game, you finally get there, but there's like a freaking like Cthulhu like tentacle monster or something that like comes out of it. Um, so you got to defeat that. And basically, like once you beat it, it's like, oh well, you took up all your time um, killing the monster. The vault is shut again now. So uh, good luck uh, living for another thousand years. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. So it was kind of like mad, but like the gameplay was fun. Um, the characters are cool and everything. Um, but yeah, I don't, it's not really my cup of tea just because like, yeah, it's a looter shooter, but, and they're like, oh yeah, the billion guns. It's like, that's technically true, but it's not like they've made a billion like unique individual guns. It's more like each, the, each gun just has like a ton of variations to it and stuff. So, well, yeah, but honestly, I think they have like a ton of actual no yeah guns. like they do have yeah. a, a lot of like actual that's what guns. they because there was a video on it but, but um yeah i know what you yeah. mean I, I know that's not like yeah, yeah you know but like you know even with no man's skies algorithm i guess anything's possible you could just like create an algorithm and like it would mm-hmm. create all types of guns i guess but i don't even know that'd be insane mm-hmm. um dang that'd be crazy um but yeah side note real quick i saw that sony turned down destiny's proposal to like the other day to cross platform yeah Yeah. but i won't be getting that until destiny 3 probably so yeah um they're thinking about removing pvp completely in destiny 3 um i don't think so no there's there's a rumor yeah there's a rumor i'm not saying that that's true i'm saying there's a rumor so yeah there was like the rumor report but then bungie i'm pretty sure like a couple days or maybe like a week later said like we're not getting rid of pvp okay well i'm just yeah. i'm just saying but um they said something to be more hardcore and a lot more rpg mechanics so i'm actually gonna be i'm actually really excited for that because i i hope it's i'm mm-hmm. not gonna probably get any of the expansions for the destiny 2 or anything mm-hmm. um but unless i'm like really bored which i don't think i i don't think i will be right but um but i actually am really excited for destiny 3 because i'm gonna get it on pc and I think it'll be fun. So I, I'm just excited to see what they do since Activision isn't with them. Yeah. Um, but so some things to talk about. I was looking up things and I found that <laughs> Twitch has their very first video game. I don't know if you saw this. What? Yeah. It's called Twitch Sings. Oh, and basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's a – it's based – it's basically – it's basically it's it karaoke. Says that, yeah, it's karaoke, but um, 
You can get it on Windows at sings.twitch.tv, but it's built for streaming, obviously, because you yep. know it's Twitch. Um, but I thought that was very <laughs> that was interesting because there's like this chick that's on the front of it, and she just she just looks like has an interesting face. But basically, that's that's crazy. I feel like they created their first game. Like I didn't think that they would do that. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I'm interested to see if they create other games though, because like that's kind of interesting because i feel like they already have a lot on their plate already because they're the biggest gaming streaming platform basically yeah so it's like the, t- the i know that game probably didn't take like a long time to make or something but i'm just saying that like i wonder if they're gonna try to start making like their own, like a lot of games in the future well you know um, they had like a their version of like american idol for twitch sings right uh i didn't know that yeah, so they had like a big like Twitch Sings competition, um, and like like a month ago is when like the semifinals were I think so it was like eight people, and then they narrowed that down to it was like the the quarterfinals I guess so they had eight people, and like you would you know chat or whatever would like vote um, they would count the votes and everything, um, and then narrow that down to four people and the four people who got into the semis got to go to twitchcon eu for free and that's where they're like they're gonna have like the final and stuff or maybe they already interesting had but yeah yeah well apparently this just came out a couple days ago it was like april 13th was the article um yeah the game's been that, out for a while though oh, okay yeah. that's interesting though i just thought that was funny um so that goes into my next thing is what is your favorite musical game that you've played because I used to play musical games a lot. I've only really played one musical game, Guitar Hero. No, no, no. The musical game can be Beat Saber, can be... Like, I'm talking about things that basically have music in it that you that is, like, the basis of the game. So, like, obviously... Like, okay, so not, like, a musical mini game. <laughs> no. Oh, my god. Okay, because I was going to say Kingdom Hearts 2. <laughs> I hate you so much. No, but... No, musical game in a sense of, like... You could say, like, Beat Saber, Dance Dance Revolution... Um, guitar you could hero. say Guitar Hero, Rock Band, because there is a difference. Um, and then I think there's like one more that I can't remember what it was called. Oh, uh, you know, is it Guitar Smith or Guitar? Yeah, it's a Guitar Smith. Rock Smith. Yeah, I Rock think. Smith. Yeah. And there's like other games they've made. Like I've pretty much only played Guitar Hero and Rock Band and Beat Saber, but like, which say so which one do you like? Do you like Guitar Hero or Beat Saber? Well, I only have a couple songs on Beat Saber. Um, and Guitar Hero, like, as fun as Beat Saber is, like, you're doing the same thing over and over. Um, or at least with, like, Guitar Hero, like, World Tour and, like, Rock Band, you can be like, oh, I want to sing, I want to do guitar, or I want to do bass, I want to do drums. So, um, uh, I guess Rock Band? I like the feel of the Guitar Hero, like, control, or, like, quote-unquote controller, I guess better um at least like when like guitar hero 3 came out and rock band one um but rock band i feel like like after their second one and onward they've had better songs i feel like um although guitar hero 3 had some really good songs and that's also where the whole through the fire and flames craze happened i know i love guitar did you ever play world tour no see world tour was good because they had all the instruments yeah so yeah you know it was like rock band but Mm -hmm. i always thought that guitar heroes play just felt more fluid like yes like rock band felt so slow like i dude i used to play guitar hero every day when i was in high school like i would play call of duty and guitar Hero, and i'd come home and i put like an hour and a half of like guitar hero basically and i just play drums and like on expert and stuff on some songs and like it was so fun but like i felt like the pace of Guitar Hero was so much faster than Rock Band. I liked I, like I also liked a lot the track too. That the no, notes were on. Oh yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah, the track seemed kind of boring with Rock Band. Rock Band did have a few songs that I wish were on um were on, you know, Guitar Hero, but I uh I really really liked um Guitar Hero. And I don't mm-hmm. know if you ever saw uh, do you remember you, you remember Penguins of Israel, right? Oh, the yeah, band that, that we made. That was our band name, yeah. Yeah, Joel, me, you, and Sean. <laughs> <That was great. laughs> 
that was the first thing penguins of israel P-O-I. and uh point <laughs> point uh but uh <laughs> but they also had that create a song thing on guitar hero world tour which was actually really cool and people yeah. made some custom songs and it was dope yeah and then they replicated songs too um which i thought was really really cool um but there were some songs in rock band that i wish that were on guitar hero like there was some disturbed songs that i wish they had oh, yeah. um but i was just curious um if guitar hero was your favorite game because i did like beat saber mm-hmm. um just from watching it it looked fun but guitar hero it's, is it's super fun and yeah do you, see, do you remember that kid who played like through the fire and flames on like like expert like 100 percent. yeah gosh that was insane i don't know i really don't know how people did that dude i remember like when guitar hero 3 came out and like i guess cole got it or something because like we were all over at his house playing and like <laughs> we all sucked like so bad at it and like the first time one of us like did a song on medium we flipped out <laughs> really yeah like we were all like that bad and we're like oh he did it on medium oh my god um or maybe it was like because i know i did i think it was lay down by priestess uh on medium but i did it flawlessly oh my gosh i think maybe that's what we freaked out to it was either like that like someone doing a song flawlessly or just doing a song on medium (laughs) that's hilarious That, that was back in like middle school or like early high school when you know we were like nerds and not very coordinated (laughs) yeah no i gotcha um i remember i did i think i did um the song by 30 seconds to mars uh on world tour on expert i did it 100 percent on the guitar nice it was not hard though in my opinion like it it was pretty simple um one one i don't know if it's a regret but like one thing i i wish i could do is play through the fire and flames on hard on guitar hero 3 i could do it on medium and like i could do most of it on hard same but like, yeah once it got to like the like two minute solo i just i couldn't <laughs> i could play every song on expert on guitar Hero 3 except for through the fire and flames and i could play every song on hard except for i could get through most of it except for mm-hmm. through the fire and flames it just had so many freaking notes like and i was yeah. like i don't know what i'm doing i'm having like a spaz attack right. it was terrible but yeah god dude now i'm gonna play like guitar hero or rock band or something no oh, dude so look at this no it is it is thing is though is they made one for the next gen but it wasn't as good was it yeah it was like i think they just called it like guitar hero live and it's like they made it a bit more realistic I think like with the controller, cause instead of just like five colored buttons, it was like, you had like a row of like three or four, but there was like two rows or something. So you technically had like eight buttons, I think something like that. Um, and I think it was okay. I don't know what songs were on it or anything. I never played it, but rock band four, very solid. I, pl- I've loved playing rock band four, especially cause like, like the bass songs are good, but then they yeah. have like all those like, packs and stuff so it's like oh you want like all these lincoln park songs just give us like five bucks bam here's like 10 songs that's great yeah no that is cool do you think that a, they'll make another game and it'll make a resurgence or no <sighs> only if it's in vr probably yeah because dude Cause that like, game was nowhere, so good but now it's just like go. yeah i mean that game is so good and i feel like now it's just you know battle royales instead of vr it's br so mm-hmm. um i don't know i was just kind of curious if you thought it would if you thought it would go anywhere yeah because i mean like with rock band 4 it's on current gen um and like they don't need to like make a new game to add new songs they just have dlc you know um, yeah so i think the only logical next step would be like if they made one where it's like in vr or whatever which would be pretty cool, um, especially like I don't know how the I guess they would still have like the controllers, like the guitars and stuff, and probably like the drum pads and all that. But I could also see it being like, at least for drums, um, where like you actually have to like drum the drums <laughs> with like your VR like controller like wands or whatever. Wow. But I'm not, I'm not sure how that would work with like 
guitars because I know they have like like the wands or whatever like has like the basic controllers but then you can also get like finger controllers where it's like they're more like gloves and each finger is like a button basically yeah so it's like oh you want to learn actual guitar here play freaking rock band VR or whatever <laughs> which would be really cool it's like I'll pick I'll learn guitar this way sure no, that is pretty cool probably wouldn't I... translate to real guitar though <laughs> No, it wouldn't. Janelle already told me that Guitar Hero doesn't translate at all. <laughs> oh no, of course not. No, no, I know. I just I feel like some people might think it does. <laughs> and it's like not really. Where, but, where, um, where's the green button? Where, where's the red button? Back. <laughs> yeah. So, but I was just I was curious. And then the other article that I was reading was it said Apple spin is going to be spending hundreds of millions on arcade video game service like basically they unveiled apple arcade because mm-hmm. um, they're doing their their apple tv service you know and everything like that they're doing like a streaming service but they're also doing an arcade like gaming service and it said that basically it's predicted that gaming could generate more revenues than tv or news subscriptions and oh, yeah. I thought that was interesting because it's like it's kind of crazy how big gaming is now for people that don't understand. Oh, yeah, I was reading an article today about what the Netflix CEO thought about Disney's streaming service that they announced, Disney Plus. Um, and he's like, yeah, you know, like, cool. We're not worried or anything because like there are different like streaming services and stuff like Netflix can like is like super broad like has all these different like genres and titles and stuff whereas disney it's like it's disney it can only be like a few things you know it has to be like family friendly and all that stuff too um but he he mentioned in the article like we don't see them as a threat really um neither do we see like hulu or anyone as a threat and he's not saying that as like yeah like we're so good or whatever but just as like they're competitors and they're just like friends or whatever they're not like threats like we all share the same like uh, like commercial space or whatever but he mentioned that like um in terms of like streaming uh fortnite is more of a threat than like disney or hulu <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious i'm like wow <laughs> he's probably right though like it's insane i mean yeah fortnite has like 150k people watching every day basically yeah and that's like just fortnite too so yeah it's yeah, it's kind of wild like I'm very interested to see in like 10 years, we'll be like, you know, I'll be like, we'll be in our thirties, but like, basically like, I'm interested to see if like gaming is like the forefront of like everything. Like, cause no one, I feel like gets TV anymore. Like, I mean, older people do. Cause like they like watching the news, you know, yeah. it's, it's like some sports stuff, but this thing is like, you can stream sports now on apps and all this mm-hmm. other stuff. With news, it's, like, a little different. I know you can do that, but I know a lot of people just like watching the news. Um, they usually post news, like, stuff on YouTube, like, right away, though, too. No, that's what I'm saying, though. So, it's a lot of times, it's, like, I, I'm really wondering if, like, TV is going to be, like, like, TV in a sense of, like, non-streaming things like, is like going to be cable. non-existent. Yeah, like, cable, like, is going to be non-existent. Um, probably in like 10 years because the only thing the only thing that's holding it is basically sports and news and like i guess original shows but even then it's like like it's kind of crazy because hbo like that's the thing is like if cable went then hbo would go because technically like hbo go and hbo now is just Mm -hmm. like you get to watch stuff after the fact like a day after or whatever i'm pretty sure hbo go isn't live so i feel like honestly the cable companies like they have that going for them you know in the sports and everything but i don't know dude like (laughs) it's just gaming has been so big that it's like i feel like no one really watches a lot of tv like that Mm -hmm. except for like older generations at least that's what i think i mean like it's sort of the same thing with like newspapers like when's the last time you saw a newspaper <laughs> you know no i know i mean because everything's online now so like there's no need to go like buy magazines i'm amazed like magazines are still around to be honest like everything's just online and like all the gossip you want from like 
Oh, like In Touch Magazine or like Jen Us Weekly and Brad. or whatever. Like Jen and Brad, are they back together or going through their fourth divorce? It's like you could just find that on like Twitter. <laughs> like, why do you need to buy a magazine to read that? Yeah, no, I know. I so let's see. Um, I'm trying to think. So, do you think? Do you basically? Do you think magazines will ever go away? Because like, there's a lot of like prestigious magazines that are like. Yeah, probably. I mean. If they follow the same trend that, like, newspapers and stuff have, yeah. Because, like, like, I guess newspapers are still sort of around. You just don't really, like, see them um, mm. hardly at all. But, like, um, a lot of them move to, like, online. So, like, you know, you have, like, the I almost said the Daily Planet, but that's Superman. Um, <laughs> like, the Washington Post and all that stuff, you know? Right. Like, they're all, like, websites and stuff now that just, like, post articles about stuff. So I feel like magazines will probably go there. I mean, like magazines, I feel like magazines won't necessarily do articles that much. They'll they'll post articles and stuff, but I think most magazines are going more towards YouTube, like GQ and stuff like that. Right. Um, yeah. Cause you know, like rolling stones and all that stuff or whatever. Yep. I'm really interested to see if that, if yeah. that's going to be like a thing or something, you know? Mm hmm. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's basically like what I was wondering when it came to video games, like taking over the world basically, cause I feel like it is in a sense. Um, mm -hmm. but do you think, do you think that <laughs> this is like something I wrote down? Do you think that there'll be a time where families sit around and watch gaming like they do like sports and stuff? Like I'm I sure know, I know probably, no, I know. I know there's some families that probably do that now. I'm just saying that it's probably not very common. I mean, I just think it hasn't happened yet because our generation is the generation that like created esports and stuff. So right. like once our generation gets older, then yeah, probably. Yeah. Cause like, I know that, like I said, I know there's some people that do that. Um, mm -hmm. But it's definitely not in the uh, – it's definitely not, like, very pop – it's not, like, in the popular realm, I don't I don't think. So um, mm -hmm. So I was just curious because I just think that's really interesting. I feel like my parents would, like, never do that. You know what I mean? No, like, would, yeah, probably do not. Do you think your parents would ever do that? Um, you can ask your mom technically right maybe, now. Maybe, like, if I'm the one, like, competing in the sport or something. <laughs> Yeah, but if not, if like, do you think they or would? If it's, or maybe if it's like a, like I'm streaming like a game night sort of thing, like a, like Jackbox Party Pack or something, then maybe. But like if it's like, oh, I'm at home with them, like, hey, mom, hey, dad, you want to watch some Fortnite? They'd be like, <laughs> what's a Fortnite? <laughs> <laughs> what's a Fortnite? No, they know what Fortnite is, but like they, they'd be like, no. <laughs> my dad, my, definitely not my dad because he's like all into like woodworking and movies and stuff. So Right. Well, that was interesting. So the last thing I was going to talk about um, that's probably going to take up a good bit of the rest of the time. Man, you got um, a grocery list of stuff. <laughs> yeah, I know, dude. I, I just like looked up all this stuff and I thought you it was really shopping. interesting. Um, yeah, so the last thing is I, for some reason, I don't know how I got on this article. I think I was looking up like just uh, upcoming games um, or whatever and um, – I, this article from culturedvultures.com came okay. up and it was the 31 best PS4 exclusive games you should play. Um, so I was going to go through those and I'm going to get your opinion on it. Okay. Uh, because they have some parameters. Um, let's see here. Give me one second. Let me find it. I have it pulled up. Um, so I th right here it says you uh basically the rules are it means that it can't be uh, this is obvious but it can't be on xbox one pc or even switch and then no other ps system so exclusive means exclusive remasters are also excluded for the sake of variety so last of us remastered would be the runaway winner otherwise remakes right. are all good however it's just that's the rule um 
Let's see. So yeah, I think that's only the only rules. Um, we are also avoiding talking about PS PSVR games just to spice things up a little bit. Okay. Um, because I guess that would be kind of you know weird too. So I'm gonna go through them. I'll see. Like I've not heard of some of these before, so. Um, I actually haven't even looked at the whole list, so I'm really interested because I was trying to do this like together. So like mm-hmm. it's kind of but I've seen like the first ten. But the first one's called That's You and it looks like a party game. And I've never heard of it. I haven't either. So it's let's see. It's a play link series, apparently. It's a party game. So that's the first one. I don't really have any opinion on that. The thirtieth one is Knowledge is Power, and that I've looks never like, heard of that. That's another PlayLink game. The next one I've heard of is called Knack. Yep, I heard of that. So that was that was 29. like one of the PS4 launch titles. And this is this is interesting because, um, this game I know was terrible because we watched an honest review on it um, from Smosh. So they put mm-hmm. The Order 1886 as 28. Ugh. I know, but like I said, they are narrowing it to where there's like not remasters. So mm-hmm. like there, I you know, I mean, how many PS4 only PS4 exclusives are there? Right. So I guess the story was fine. It was like a 16 hour campaign, I think, or something. But um, 27 is Hidden Agenda. Um, that looks like the dude from um, what's it called? Until Dawn. What's the guy's name? The bad, not the bad guy. Or I don't want to spoil anything, but basically the brother that's that's a famous actor. What's his name? Remy. Remy Malik. Yeah. Um, kind of looks like him, to be honest. Um, okay. 26 is Frantics. Never heard, Never of, heard of that. 25 is Bound. I think I have heard of that. You Bound played, sounds familiar. You played that, I think. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> no, you played Journey, right? Yes. Okay. Journey's um, good. 24. Three, yeah, that's true. <laughs> 24 is Knack 2. Um, 23 okay. is Everybody's Golf. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Twenty two is Infamous First Light. I was interested to. I haven't played that, okay. but I know you played the Infamous series, didn't you? I played the first one. I never had the second one. I know I played the first one because I got it for free. Um. 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 And then like with PS, when I got my PS four, um. Like I got first light for free as part of like mm-hmm. the bundle or whatever. Uh, and then at some point I got second son for free, but I haven't touched either of them. So on PS4. Yeah. <laughs> so. Interesting. The, the 21 is Matterfall. Never heard of that. Um, yeah. I did not even know this game. There was a, this game was, I didn't even know this was a thing though. Cause Number twenty, they have Killzone Shadowfall. See, I like the Killzone series. I did not from to from PS3, but I didn't even know they made one for PS4. It, like, hmm. I'm very interesting, like very interested in that. So I might need to look that up. Um, Nineteen is Dissidia Final Fantasy NT. <laughs> Dissidia, okay. Interesting. Um, so Dissidia is basically like their Smash Brothers. Yeah, please explain that. Oh, it's Smash Brothers pretty much but it's like final fantasy characters <laughs> um interesting okay okay number 18 is fist of the north star lost paradise looks like a street game. <laughs> okay that's interesting developed by sega published by sega interesting mm-hmm. okay this looks like a fake game uh 17 is earth defense force 5 pretty sure that's real Oh, wait, wait. 16 is Infamous Second Son. There we go. I played okay. that one a little I bit. Not. <clears throat> I think I got that for free, too, or like something like that. But um, Number 15 is Drive Club. I've heard of okay. that game. Ooh, yep. I think you're going to like this. I think you played this game, but I could be wrong. <laughs> wait, did you play this one? Let's see. 14 is Ratchet and Clank. Nope. You played Jack and Daxter, didn't you? Yes. Okay, so you never played Ratchet and Clank. No, nah, I was never a fan. Okay. This sounds like a fake game. Number 13 is Earth Defense Force Iron Rain. Okay. It's never heard of that before in my life. 
Um, number 12 is Last Guardian. I remember that at E3. Yeah, I remember that. What is that even like? What do you even do in that? It's... It's I don't know I don't know what you I don't know what the story is but it's like you're a boy and you have like a giant dog thing. <laughs> so. It looks like a giant monster from Monster Hunter. <clears throat> um, number eleven is Gran Turismo Sport. Uh, I played that yeah. on like PS2 basically. Um, so now we're in the top ten. All so right. I can't believe what number. Okay, so number ten is Gravity Rush Two. Never heard of that. Um, yeah. you have yeah apparently it's pretty good it's in japan it's made by sie japan studio project siren um so guess what number nine is as a ps4 exclusive i don't even think this is actually in their parameters this shouldn't be in their parameters spyro reignited trilogy no tetris effect (laughs) okay It's, it's like this special effect tetris game that's not even a ps4 exclusive Okay, here's a game that I have definitely seen, but I've not played. Uh, number eight is Uncharted: The Lost Legacy. Okay. So that's obviously one of the best games until oh, <laughs> number seven. Okay, it's our favorite game. Uh, Call of Cthulhu. <laughs> no. Spider Man. No, it's in your room. Until dawn. Yep. <laughs> really? Yeah. Number seven. Uh, I don't. I don't really agree with that, but okay. I don't either. Um, Shadow of Colossus is number six. Never heard of that. What? What? Wow, you're so uncultured. Holy crap, dude! Like, haven't heard of that. It's Have you like played one it? of them. I haven't played it, but I know what it is, and it looked cool as a kid, but it also creeped me out. It was um, made in 2018, though. It's a remake. An HD remake, like what they did with like Spyro and Crash. Oh, okay. It was on PS2, got a PS3 remaster, and then they did like a remake for PS4. Okay. Yep. Interesting. But, but basically, you're like this dude, and you go around slaying giants. Okay. So. Okay, so can you guess the top five? The top five games are actually like pretty big games, and so I think they're pretty worthy of it. Spider Man's gotta be one of them. Okay, but see if you can name all, f- all like see if you can name the top five and see if you can put them in order. There's no way. Okay, but just just try. Try to name at least five just try to think of five then. <sighs> That's the problem. I don't know if I can. Uh Spider Man. Um Metal Gear Solid Five. Uh what else? Mm, I don't know if Metal Gear was actually PS4 or not. Or, like, I mean, like, Sony exclusive. Um, I, mean, I think it's on other platforms. Okay. Dude, I have no idea. Okay. Well, number five is Bloodborne. Okay. Oh, yeah, I guess it is PS4 only. Yeah, I forgot too. It's only on PS4, because um, Dark Souls is on you know multiple platforms. Mm-hmm. So is Sekiro. Right. So Bloodborne is number five. Mm-hmm. Number four is Horizon Zero Dawn. Okay. I forgot about that because, like, yeah. so Trevor, I never played it. Trevor said that game is awesome. Like, I really have wanted to play it, but I just I don't have time. It's actually kind of funny. So, for you guys that don't know, obviously, because you don't, you've not been to my house. Um, uh, or Joe's house technically, but I, I was organizing my like desk and stuff this weekend and I put up stuff on the shelf and I was, I have my games up there and I was going to tell you, I meant to tell you this Joe, but I was thinking about organizing my games to where the only games that get to go up there are the games that I beat. <laughs> so it gives me incentive to basically <laughs> so beat have, the like, rest of my games. games. Up there? No, I actually, ha- I'd actually have like <laughs> half of them, but the other half would have to stay on my desk until I beat them. So I still have that new year's resolution. I still have eight months. So we're good. I'm gonna beat all those games. Don't worry. Yeah. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to um, go back and watch that New Year's thing to check our New Year's resolutions and see if we actually did them. Because I know that you're failing on a lot and I'm failing on a lot too. So actually, my fitness is doing way better than that. But like, I'm not playing any of those games recently. So, uh-huh. but 
yeah interesting horizon zero dawn but if you play it if you want to play horizon zero dawn you can just play monster hunter too and kill yeah, right. um okay number three is uncharted for a thief's end so that's yeah. like i, I guess about uncharted yep i guess yeah oh yeah because Oh, wait, no, there was already another Uncharted one, right? That was a different one. Yeah, it was a different yeah. one, like a side story. Yeah, so the fourth, that was like the last one, I think, The Thief's End. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. I played the second one on PS3. It was really good. Um, okay, number two, Marvel Spider-Man. Hey, there it is. Uh, oh, I know, what, I know what number one is. What? God of War. Yes, God of War. Yeah. And the picture is sick boy like the picture they have for it is sick but boy. it took you so long to it took you 30 tries or 30 times and to get to number one before you knew what number one is you just weren't, <laughs> you just you just weren't thinking hard like you could have thought i, I really i really wasn't well what's funny though i probably never would have thought about that but i was watching god of war cutscenes last night before bed wait why <laughs> because i wanted to know like what how like it ended and stuff <laughs> wait so you didn't want to play it or anything there, no there's too much of it's too much of a game for me to play wait what do you mean there's like so much to do in the game really? it's like witcher 3 it's like witcher 3 sized are you there's sure about a that ton yes god of war like 2018 there's a lot to do it's it's an rpg that size though i thought it was ba- mainly story driven and it was no, pretty... there's like a lot of like side quests and stuff you can do and then also like just like side like Mission but is it like whatever. open world though? Because dude, The Witcher Three is huge. Yeah, uh, I don't know if you've ever played The Witcher Three. I know you bought it, right? Yeah, I saw it. Uh, that you should play that tonight. <laughs> nah, but dude, I don't know if you realize the magnitude of Witcher Three. Witcher Three is huge, dude. Yeah, I maybe maybe it's not as big as Witcher Three, but I mean I, I can't confirm. Because I was gonna get like, no no I was gonna get God of still, War. It's still a massive game. Interesting. It's funny because people get really overwhelmed by like a lot of stuff to do in games. That's why Sean didn't like Red Dead because he said it was too slow. And well, that's he, just that's not necessarily like being overwhelmed. It's just like there's a lot to do, but it just takes forever to do everything. Oh right, and he's like, like I can't. He's like I can't play Red Dead as a job. So right, right. Um, like in GTA, you have cars that go like 100 miles an hour. You can get to your destination in no, in no time. Can't do that with a horse. So right. Um, but it's funny that how games can like intimidate you, like basically like the size of them and stuff. Like when there's a lot mm. of stuff to do, it's not necessarily like intimidating. It's just like, I know I'm going to like this game a lot, but I'm just not ready to put like to commit to it and put in like all these hours. <laughs> it sounds like a relationship. <laughs> basically. <laughs> it literally sounds like a relationship. It's like, I know that I like this girl, but I'm just not ready to commit yet and to give my time to her. That's literally what that sounded like. That was hilarious. That's freaking hilarious, dude. Hmm. I mean, like, that's the only reason I haven't. That's the only reason I decided not to get God of War um, and just watch cutscenes instead. Uh, and that's why I haven't started Witcher 3 yet. Because I know both of those games are massive. And the Witcher 3 is a, massive. Dude. A ton of time. And it's like, I'm, not, I'm just not ready for that yet. I know. We have we have a problem that we like games that are grindy and inv- have a lot of time investment. We're not like Markiplier, who would pl- you know plays the horror games to where that doesn't have a lot of time investment. Really, you know, well, you can just move yeah, on to other he, games. He also plays games for his job, so he has time. <laughs> no, I know, but still, like he finishes games like you know he doesn't sit there and play an mmorpg you know what i mean like Mm -hmm. like because you know those kind of games can just basically you can play them as long as you want basically um you know some of those games the horror games and let's play kind of games they they have an ending so it's like you don't have anything else to do um but the witcher is there is a ton of stuff so i don't know it's gonna be interesting I, I. So, what do you what do you think you're gonna play tonight then? I don't know. I I still haven't figured that out yet. Cause you have The Witcher, you have like Monster Hunter, obviously. You have um, No Man's Sky, technically. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm just I'm just interested to see what you play. 
but I'll Me be too. streaming as well. But um, so we're getting towards the end now, everyone. But next week we are gonna do because we told you guys I think two weeks ago we were gonna do the superhero and villain switcheroo basically. Oh, we're gonna put switcheroo in our title. So um, <laughs> okay. no, but no, no, but um, body swap. Um, body but swap, yeah. we said we were gonna switch roles basically and create our own. So I would create a hero and Joe would create a villain. Um, Mm -hmm. So we're going to do that next week um, because we forgot about it last week. Um, And then we're going to continue to make our own comic and we're going to be the next Stan Lee. So um, rip in peace. peace. Uh, I said rip in peace. Wow. Um, Yep, you did. Jebated. (laughs) Jebated. (laughs) Um, But I was going to tell you – Last pop culture thing, Game of Thrones was awesome last night. Avengers Endgame comes out in, like, not 11 days, I believe, April 26th. But uh, more importantly, Detective Pikachu comes out in less than a month. Yeah, no one cares. No, I'm just kidding. Um, uh, I care, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Dude, I'm so you hyped know, for Avengers You know Endgame. they're giving out Pokemon cards on the opening weekend, right? I'm assuming you're going to that. Of course. Should I go with you? If you want the Pokemon card, yeah. <laughs> when are you going? Either I mean, okay, I'm either gonna take a half day on May 10th, Friday, which is when it comes out, or I'm just gonna go Saturday. Gotcha. Or I'll just go both and see it twice. <laughs> I'll probably try to go with you if I can. What what day is it? May 10th, Friday, or May 11th saturday Ooh, actually i might be at a concert well, oh, well maybe not i'll tell ryan reynolds you said hi <laughs> all right tell him i said hey um but yeah so that's all i have joe so if you want to say anything to these lovely people you're lovely people <laughs> uh, if any of you work for nabisco hit me up um <laughs> hit can... joe's agent up <laughs> I am my agent. Um, uh, but for realsies, thank you guys for uh, tuning in to another episode of Lagged Out. Um, you can follow us on like social media and stuff. Uh, we'll be streaming. Uh, well, I'm always, I've always been streaming, but Adam's starting to stream again, so you can follow us on Twitch. Uh, twitch.tv slash this or me um, at twitch.tv slash JoeTheJoe. Um, and yeah i guess until next time guys always remember to have faith be great and we'll see you guys later later